What's going on guys? So uh, today I have some lighter stuff to, uh, to show and talk about here. So first off, someone uh, sent this to me in the mail. It's a Zorro branded insert for Zippos. And I have to assume it's because I did that Tic Tac uh, container Zippo experiment. Which, by the way, I am probably going to redo. All right, we're going to talk about that in the future. We're going to make it a little bit more scientific, a little bit more uh, steady of an actual test to take out a lot of variables. But we'll touch upon that in the future. I got to get two brand new Zippos that are the same so I can start from scratch. But anyway, so yes, this insert, this is what the uh, container or packaging look like. All right, very familiar with uh, Zorro lighters. Been around for many, many years. It was basically the Zippo copy um, you know, one of the one of the huge companies that does a lot of Zippo style lighters. But anyway, this is the insert, all right? And this is really interesting. It's I mean, it's kind of cool. It definitely has like a steampunk type look to it. But I think the reason they sent this to me is because this is a sealed insert. Okay, so first off, if you look at the top here, you see we have a couple gears. There's a little bar that goes across. This is how you open and spark the lighter. But if you notice this tube here, this tube covers the wick area all right and i can't really see in there i'm not sure if there's an o-ring at the very bottom but it may actually seal on the bottom okay and then on the bottom of the insert itself you can see it is completely sealed with a trap door so it's lift to fill you get your little fingernail in there which i don't have <laughs> uh, i have to pop that open Come, there we go okay I literally just cut my nails. Anyway, so you can see there's a trap door here, and this does have an O-ring, all right? So that's where you fill your fluid up, but once it's filled up and this closes, this O-ring seals, okay? So there's no fuel vapors that can leak out of the bottom, and I'm assuming very little to no fumes that are going to leak out of the top. So if this is a traditional insert that uses regular lighter fluid, liquid lighter fluid, um, but does not actually leak, that would be awesome. That's what everyone's looking for in their Zippos, right? Everyone loves their Zippo lighters. They just don't want to have them empty all the time. It's kind of a pain in the butt, right? So first off, here's the Zippo using that test. Here's a regular insert. Now on a regular standard Zippo insert, obviously fuels leak out of the bottom through the case and out the uh, cracks in the case, uh, and then also through the top, all right? So first, let's see if this fits. I did not try this yet. Oh, seems to fit pretty nice. So there you go. Obviously, there's no fluid in here yet, but that's how it works. Interesting, all right? So that does actually work. It does add quite a heft. It, it's a huge difference in the weight on that. But yeah, I'm gonna try this out in the future and see how long this will last because I feel like uh, it's a really good design. Now, as far as like the actual design being like this kind of copper thing with the gears and all that stuff, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if they have different versions of this i'll have to look it up myself um but i think a lot of people would be interested in a sealed insert i think people would really love this if it was just solid black or solid stainless or something you know polish something that's similar to the look of a regular zippo insert but that was very fascinating so first off thank you so much to the person who sent this i don't know who you are there was no note in here but i'd love for you to send me a message on instagram let me know where you got it uh if there were other options things like that um as well as you know so i can thank you personally but anyway, so that is that, all right. Um, also in this package was this. I don't know what this is. This was in a little sealed plastic container, or plastic bag rather. Um, it looks like a mouthpiece. Like this looks like a mouthpiece, like you'd put a cigar, like a very thin cigar or a cigarette or something in here, almost like a filter. But I have no idea what this is. Now, if I you know suck through the, the what I'm assuming is a mouthpiece, I can get airflow through, but it's very, very tight. And if I blow through this instead, it's the same thing. It's very tight. So I don't feel like you would have a normal draw. I really have no idea what this is. So if anyone knows what this thing is, please let me know down in the comment section. Don't know why I was in the package. But anyway, yeah, that came with the, the Zorro insert. All right, so besides that, I happen to show this lighter, which I thought was interesting. This is just a Chinese lighter. You can see what it says on the front there which is a funny Samuel Jackson uh, Pulp Fiction reference. Now on the bottom here it says Cowan LZ547 Made in China. All right, that's what's written on the front bottom there. All right, so I'm assuming that the brand is Cowan, 
Maybe the model of lighter is the LZ547, and we definitely know it's made in China. All right, it's uh, a Zippo style lighter, but it's obviously skinnier than a regular Zippo, you can see here. All right, it's a little more squared off. It's just, you know, the generic style. The insert's actually different here. All right, it's obviously flatter, different design on the chimney, all right, but it works pretty much the same way. <laughs> but I thought it was really funny, I wanted to show this, is on the insert, I've never seen this before ever from China, it says, it is not a Zippo lighter made in China. And then another different serial number there, 31L001. So yeah, that's uh, that was interesting. So like, if, if you're like, wow, cool Zippo, and you open up to like, no, 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 this is not a Zippo lighter. Interesting. I don't know if that was like literally to avoid some kind of a lawsuit, which they wouldn't have because the design is quite different. But whatever. I just thought it was kind of funny. I like stuff like this. Uh, in fact, um, even like counterfeit Zippos are, are fascinating to me. I have someone who uh, asked me if their, their Zippo was real, and it was not. It was a counterfeit, but it was interesting. And I asked them if they wanted to trade you know, for it because I wanted to do a video on it. And they're like, well, I don't really want to trade for anything. And then, you know, they came back and said, well, you know, you want to just buy it? And I said, yeah, sure. So I did. I bought it. Uh, it's currently in the mail. So uh, when that arrives, I will certainly go over that. It's a Vietnam, um, you know, counterfeit Zippo, which is extremely common because people collect the Vietnam era Zippos. But I wanted to, you know, have it for the collection to show you guys what to look out for, okay, in fakes. I think it would be great for a video. Um, so stay tuned for that. That'll be uh, down the road. But yeah, that's all. Just wanted to show you this one because I showed it on Instagram. People are asking about it. I got this one in a trade. I don't know where to buy this. I'm sure you can Google it and find it somewhere. Um, the Zorro insert is super cool. Definitely going to test this out to see how this works. Um, you know, it's, you know, compared to a, a standard Zippo insert. Uh, obviously, I, I think it's obvious anyway that this is going to conserve fuel longer. How much longer? I don't know, but I feel like significantly longer. Uh, this seems like a very sealed unit. So once the fluid's in there, like I said, if there's no O-ring on the bottom, I didn't really take a good look at this yet. I don't see one on the bottom of that case, but there might be one on the inside. And I'm not really seeing it in there. There's enough ambient light. So there's no, no uh, uh, O-ring on here. However, this probably makes a decent seal on that base. Okay, so when it's shut, if there is fuel leaking out of here, it would be so incredibly slow. Um, it would definitely, you know, be a significant difference as far as how long that lasts in your lighter compared to just a, tra a traditional insert from Zippo. So yeah, that was super cool. Definitely going to test it out in the future. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, stay tuned for the Tic Tac case redo. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take it easy.